homeschooling ohana i am summer and welcome to our channel for those of you who have watched my videos before welcome back for those of you who are new hi <laughs> i am a homeschooling mama to one little and we are gearing up for his first grade year in this video we're actually going to share with you our family's favorite read alouds that we have been consuming these past two months on our summer break and these books, um, <laughs> they've actually just been selected for pure enjoyment. There was nothing uh, in mind when selecting them as far as homeschooling. Uh, but we did end up learning. <laughs> we did end up learning some, some things. So, um, yeah. But hopefully you like them. The first three books are actually books that we hold dear to our hearts. And basically, it's because... The books are centered around our Hawaiian culture, um, specifically cultural practices. And also, it just shows a glimpse of what our culture is about, um, which is family and the Aloha spirit and being good stewards to our ocean and our land, just our planet in general. It also has um, elements from pulled from Hawaii or the culture placed in the books as well. So we just, we really love these books. The first book is Too Many Mangoes, a story about sharing. And it is by Tammy Paikai. It is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, and it talks about one of my favorite fruits, mangoes, hey, hey. But um, <laughs> it is actually about a boy named Kama and his sister Nani and how they have this big mango tree, but it's just so much because you only take what you need. Like that is what we are taught in Hawaii. I mean, it's universally taught, but it's very, um, it's something that you I don't know it's in, it's ingrained in you in Hawaii like you only take what you need so basically like like our grandma and our tutus they used to tell us don't make your eyes bigger than your stomach right when you go and make food because if you take too much and you don't eat it all you waste it so yeah so instead of wasting the mangoes because sometimes mangoes just fall down you can't you can't help it when they fall down when they're ready to give you food they gonna give you food right so this is our papa and he's saying that they want he wants them to share it with their community so they go around to their neighbors and they share, they share. And it also shows that sometimes with kindness, you know, people pay it for it. So in this case, the auntie, the neighbor, the auntie down the road, she paid them back with making them a big good. So it's just, it's about sharing and kindness and community and we just absolutely love it so yeah too many mangoes the next book would be for anybody who loves turtles or who loves to learn about the ocean um it's it's a fantastic book and you can actually build a unit study off of just this one book i, I promise you you could you could probably do that um, actually, we're planning to do that <laughs> this year. So yeah, so you could totally build a unit study off of just this one book. But it is called Honu 5690. It talks about a Honu, which is also the Hawaiian word for turtle. She is a green sea turtle. And it talks about her journey from being a hatchling. Um, all the way to motherhood. It talks about how she was rescued by some scientists for a preservation um, organization on Oahu. They talked about how they released her into the ocean afterwards after they tagged her. Um, that's where the 5690 comes from. It talks about her journey, how she journeyed back to the island of Maui for over 14 years. And it was so funny because um, because she was a frequent traveler to Maui. 
a lot of the locals uh, named her Maui Girl for as a nickname. So it's so cute. It just it talks about it just talks a lot about the tur about the green sea turtles. Um, it also gives her story about when she um, laid her own hatchlings as well. But it's such a good book. So much information in an easy to consume and an enjoyable way for children when it comes to learning about sea turtles. Uh, this book is a book that, you know what, you might be familiar with because I have seen it popping up on a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of um, Instagram posts lately in the homeschooling community. But um, yeah, so it is Ohana Means Family. The author, Elima Loomis, um, has another book as well that's really good. Um, I will go ahead and link it below in the description box as well. But I love the illustrations. I love how the book is written in a gentle rhyming format, if that makes sense. <laughs> the water the water colors are beautiful. They really capture the essence of Hawaii, in my opinion. Um, and honestly, it's more than just about family. Um, it looks at first glance, it does look like it's only about family, which it is at its core. It is about family. However, I love that they took family and they talked about Kalo. Kalo, also known as taro, is a main staple in the Hawaiian culture. It is the cornerstone of the livelihood of Hawaiians. Um, it talks about tending to the land, to the Kalo farm. It talks about how everyone in the family helps out. I love that they, that they describe the process of Kalo, of uh, harvesting it, um, caring for it. I just, it's about community, it's about family, it's about being good stewards to our, to our home. It talks about how they use kalo to make poi, which is a very popular dish in the Hawaiian culture. And I just love how it captures the Hawaiian island. I, it's just, all of these books hold something dear to our hearts for different reasons, but for some reason it's this one because when a lot of people think about families in Hawaii, they only think about just aloha, um, the word aloha, but they don't, or the word ohana meaning family, but they don't really, I don't know how to explain it. They don't see it cultivated in a lot of books. And I'm so glad that that she wrote this. Um, it's something that we go back to every spring and every summer. Um, it's actually a, a favorite of my son's from when he was three years old. It's a board book, but we, we absolutely love it. And he's six now, but he still loves it. So it's called The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. It's a book about sharing and also showing um, what the mouse had to do to um, to get the big strawberry and how he keeps it away from the big hungry bear but it's super cute the next book would be for any child who likes to, to tell silly jokes or like my child he really loves the muppet babies and he likes a uh, fonzie bear uh because he tells a lot of jokes and riddles so for any children who likes riddles jokes puns this is like one of the best books it's called the big book of silly jokes for kids super cute Simple little illustrations along the book. It's broken down into small sections. So you have a section where they talk about knock-knock jokes. They also have a section about puns and riddles. So super cute. A joke would be, what do you call a grumpy cow? What do you call it? Moody. This is super silly jokes like that, but my son absolutely loves this. The next would be five minute stories, uh, the minion version, 
My son is absolutely obsessed with Minions. Um, it was something that he started liking maybe three months ago. He loves everything Minions. And although they have a lot of Minion books um, out there, we are very particular about the types of books that we read to our child, especially because it takes up a lot of space. You know, the more books you have, the more space it takes. Um, but we absolutely love this one. I mean, each, like really, they're like five minutes each. Um, we'll read this like during breakfast or at night before he goes to bed, but yeah, five minute stories, Minions version. All right, so that's all I got for you. If you like content like this, go ahead and like the button, hit the subscribe button. And I hope that this has helped you in finding some books that you might want to add to your book list. Um, as always, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the support. And ahui ho until we meet again. Aloha.